Hello, my name is Molly Giannis, and I am the founder of Echo Consulting. And today we're going to be talking about two of my favorite tools. The first one is Smartsheet, and the second is Excel. And I've had so many questions by uh, fans asking me, what are the differences between Excel and Smartsheet? And do I really need Smartsheet? And so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you um, a basic project solution in Excel and a basic solution in Smartsheet and highlight some of the differences. And the answer is, is not everyone needs Smartsheet. Not everyone loves Excel, um, despite the fact that I do. But anyways, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start completely from scratch. So where I am right now is I'm actually in office.com. So I'm using my Office 365 license. I'm not gonna use my desktop app. I'm gonna actually stay in the online version, the browser version that would be available to me on my phone and other things like that, right? And so I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna actually pull from a template. Um, if you haven't used templates in Excel, I highly recommend it. Um, so I'm just going to like show a couple of examples here. So you can see a Gantt project chart example, for example, or a project tracker. Um, I'm, you'll see that there's a lot of other options and there is a searchability, right? So um, search is actually going to pull from all my content. So for right now, I'm just going to stay in the template section here. Um, and I'm going to uh, start with maybe the assignment tracker or let's start with a project tracker. I haven't actually been in the templates recently because we have our own templates that we use. All right, so I'm starting with an Excel template. Um, and you'll see here that I have an option. Um, if I click on setup, it's going to tell me a little bit about categories and project names. So maybe I say a category of IT, business, um, and I don't know, HR, right? And then let's say Molly and Bob and Joe and... Uh, and maybe Sally. Okay, so now I've kind of set up some information in my setup tab of Excel, and I'm going back to my project. I now have some drop downs in here, so I can see here IT. Um, I can see here that I can do business, and um, here I can put in project name, so example project, right? And then here in my drop downs, because I had done that setup piece, I now have the ability to pick a uh, employee that I want. And then here I have some information. It looks like they've set up a date picker to some extent, right? Um, but when I go here, it's saying today minus six. So this is interesting. So per percent over or under flag. So over here, it's, I've got some hours components and actual duration. So I'm just kind of trying to familiarize myself to some extent with this Excel tracker um, to pull some information in. So I have some different projects um, and it looks like I can update this. So let's say I want 20 hours here, 10. 15, what is it doing? It's flagged this, actual duration, 25. Let's see what it updates here. Is it updating any dates? I'm not really sure. So again, I have this very, you know, straightforward concept that they have built out via this template, um, but I'm not 100% sure exactly how to do this. So if I want to update this to be, um, like 2, 15, 21, what does that actually do to everything? It doesn't look like I'm able to do much with it, right? So now I'm going to just go, this is a template, right? It's provided some examples here with some formulas. I'm going to start from scratch and how I might do this, right? And I might go up here and say project, uh, let's see here, uh, project type, right? And project manager and start, finish. All right, here we go, right? So pretty basic stuff here. And then I might go ahead and I might create this as a date column um, and I might formulate this as a date column and I can do something like this, right click and format here and I'm gonna show the number format and I'll probably make it into a date column like this, right? So easy enough here. And then I can start to pull information in here. I can use things like conditional formatting. Um, so, and I can do things like analyzing the data once I have it. So this is kind of my basic um, Excel spreadsheet, right? And you'll see that this is a grid view, right? So it's basically the, the concept of a grid view. I can create a list here. Um, I'm just gonna do example project one, copy it down. 
Here we go. It's going to update my names in my names because it understands this. Here we go. Right. Um, and then I can put some information like blue, red, yellow, blue. It's going to automatically update for me. Yellow. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing here. Molly, Bob, uh, Joanne, right? Sally. And then let's just say we do this again. Copy it down. Right. All right. And then I can do this date and I can pick a date to 1522 and uh, copy this down. Right. Um, and finish this. So let's do duration here. Um, 15, 20, 25, 25, 30, 22, right? So equals this plus duration. So now I have dates based on those durations and I'm just going to drag and drop that down here. Um, and it updated all these different things. Okay. So basic concept here. So this is great. Um, and if I wanted to pull in information and look at it, you know what I mean, by this, for example, I could click on this information and I could do insert. And one of the things I love to do is do a pivot table. Um, and over here, I can do a pivot table, for example, here. So I'm going to do um, add a new sheet and it's going to automatically create that little visibility for me here where I see um, how many. and then what it looks like is project type and then project manager. Um, and then let's say I want to show this by not the value, but the sum of duration. Um, but I want to do the count maybe um, of, let's see here. Um, so this is actually interesting. This is a little bit different. So I'm just going to do project type here and I'm just going to do the count of the project type, right? So now I know that um, there's two red projects for Bob and two yellow. And so I could do something like that if I wanted to do a sum, if I had done the number of hours instead of the duration, right? So here we go. Um, so that's a basic concept here. And then I could create some graphs if I wanted to from here. So I can do a bar chart. Um, and it's showing, you know what I mean, by red, blue, and I can kind of update this information here if I wanted to, um, to update this piece. So um, I'm going to format this, right? And I'm going to come here, series blue, and instead of making it red, I'll make it blue. So it's a little bit, makes more sense. Um, and then maybe I'll go down to the series of red and make this red. So this makes more sense. And then yellow is yellow already. So I think we're all set. Okay, so I created a quick chart and I can update the information here. And I could continue to add additional components here, right? Um, so one of the things I could do is I could go back to the project tracker. Uh, I could go back to my sheet one example that I created. Um, I can do the same information over here. It's gonna give me some other components, right? So it'll say, for example, sum of duration. But is the sum of duration something I actually want to see or um, other information? So again, I can add to an existing sheet, which I can kind of use as a dashboard, um, or I can um, add to a new sheet and have multiple different tabs in Excel. So I really like the tabular format of Excel and being able to extend and create um, easy navigation there. Um, that's really helpful for me. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to go to project, uh, to uh, Smartsheet, and I'm going to do the same concept, right? I'm starting from the beginning. I'm in project, and I'm going to go ahead and go to their template center, similar to how um, Excel had a template center um, I have here. Now, I find this navigation much easier and a lot more options for what I'm looking for, especially if I'm looking at project management in uh, in Smartsheet instead of Excel. So here I see all of the different solutions, but I have a navigation. So I wanna look at only my project solutions. And then here I have both templates and template sets. So a template is gonna be a single sheet solution, much like we just saw. And then a template set, I'm just gonna show you an example of a template set. A template set is actually gonna have multiple different components because unlike Excel that has multiple tabs, Smartsheet has multiple different components. And you can kind of see that when you look at the template set, because it's going to show you that you have these sheets, like a project intake sheet and a project, you know, data sheet. 
along with a form, along with a dashboard, which is the green, along with reports and all and reports, which are orange and all these different components. So what this is telling me is that this single template set is going to include all of these different pieces if I were to learn more. Okay. So um, I'm going to hold off for a second just because it, it does have an unfair advantage to have all those different pieces built out. And let me actually start by just creating a single sheet, much like what I did um, in Excel, right? So let's see here. I'm going to go to Project Launch Plan just to give an example here. All right. So I'm going to use this. And here I have a project launch plan, right? When I come in here, instead of Excel, right, I have a lot of other information. This is just, you know, they've already sent out this different component. Um, but I have different types of columns available to me. And I'm going to start with just my plain grid view, which is going to be similar to Excel, right? So in this view, I have the same columns that I might have had before. Um, you'll see that if I want to insert a column, I have specific column types that are already pre-configured, right? So I have an auto numbering system. I have this symbol system, which is really nice so that I can see things for priority versus duration and other components. I also have the ability to set a, a single select or a multi-select dropdown right from here, which is very nice. And when I do this dropdown, um, it gives me some additional options as well. So when I remember when I did red, blue, yellow in the other example, I can restrict to drop down values only, which is nice. Um, or um, I can also do things like a contact list, which allows for multiple contacts per cell versus a single. I have the ability to name and some other components, right? A checklist and other pieces. So there's some additional functionality, which I really like. Um, the other piece that I want to just call out is I have this one view, right, which I have um, of this grid, which is called the grid view, which is the same as like the Excel view, right, which is this grid format. But with Excel, with, prod, uh, with Smartsheet, I also have the ability to see the exact same information in these other views as well. So one of them is the grid view where I can see the grid next to the, um, the Gantt view. The other one that a lot of my teams really like is this card view or this Kanban view. And so here I have the same information that I did in the grid, right? So let's just look at some of this information. So like a planning phase, market requirements, business case, launch plan, and things like that. But if I look at this in my card view, I can look at by status. So if you like that kind of to-do in progress and dragging and dropping these across, you have the ability to do that, right? You have some information about color coding based on the health of something that's really nice. You can see the attachment that is associated, or if you've included an image, the image can actually show up here. You can actually view it by status, or you could view it by health, or you could edit it to other things like assigned to. So you also have the ability to edit additional lanes, which is really nice. So you can restrict to the list view or some add some additional components. So I really love the fact that I can use this via the grid view, just like in Excel, and I can put my information in a way that I'm very used to, or I have the ability to use the card view, or I can split my screens for the Gantt view, which is very nice, and I can start seeing some of the dependencies, which is, again is something that Excel does not have that Smartsheet does, which really levels it up as a project management tool. Um, so for example, um, in addition to this grid, Gantt, and card, you can also see this calendar view. And when you see the calendar view, you can see it by, for example, the final date um, of these different components. You can click on it and see additional information if you need to, right? So this is another way. You can also look at it um, as like a week view instead, which is really nice. Um, so you can kind of see your upcoming components. And we haven't even gotten into all the additional functionality, but I wanted to start off with just like a core component of what is different, right? So the different views is a big differentiator. The other piece that I want to mention is the ability to add dependencies. So here I'm going to go back to my grid view. Um, like filters, for example, same concept as in Excel. Conditional formatting, same concept as in Excel. So very similar here. Um, I do like the highlight changes and the ability to highlight changes based on a variety of different components. Those are very nice. 
Um, so I can see anything that's been updated since the last time I touched it. Um, I can turn off highlighting if I want to. Um, so the other piece I want to mention that I really like about uh, Smartsheet is the ability to view cell history and see who made the update and when they made the update. So that can be really important. Um, the other piece that I really like is this concept of predecessors. Um, if you're used to, if you've ever seen Microsoft Project, it's a very similar concept. I can make this task business case dependent on a previous task, which is market requirements, I can say that when market finishes, um, then after that, it's going to have the business case start minus a day. And what's really cool about that is if I change this date to say, okay, instead of five days, it's going to take 10 days, my date here is going to automatically update. Does that make sense? Okay. So here, for example, if I make this five dates and everything like that, like it updates these dates back and forth, right? So if I update this, I'm going to say this takes five days. That's going to update this task, right? And these minuses, these are a little bit harder to understand, but this is a lag, right? So this is minus three days. You can also add a lag, which is add three days to this. So this cannot start until this finishes plus an additional three days. So it can give you some buffer time. Okay, so again, top three things I want to start with. I'm going to do some more videos on this, but why is Smartsheet and Excel different? The first thing is the ability to view the information in several different ways. Uh, the next one is predecessors. This is pretty key here. And I really like cell history, um, being able to see who updated things across what time. And the last one that I mentioned on here is the ability to add attachments to the row um, and also to be able to comment on the row back and forth and have a conversation. So um, we'll do some additional videos on how Excel and Smartsheet are different. There is value in them both, but I hope you uh, found value in this video. And if so, please subscribe. Echo Consulting, we do a lot of videos on project management systems, work management systems, um, and project management best practices. Thank you so much. Bye.